Good morning from Australia to all our Australian friends and friends around the world. So we put together this video of an exercise that me and my wife Sonal have been doing every year and we've noticed how different the year is because we missed one year and we noticed that the year went like that and it was just random, you know. Whereas in the previous years when we'd actually gone through this exercise, was very specific we knew exactly where we were going to arrive because we had created it and how do we create it because we uh, visualized it and with gratefulness and thankfulness wrote out where we're going to arrive we're going to go through this process in a minute so we're using this model it's called the conscious samurai and it came about because my sister gave me a book called samurai sudoku and for those of you who know who have tried sudoku before sudoku is a puzzle and so usually it's like one square. Um, but Samurai Sudoku is five squares. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and they're all connected by this one in the middle. And so when I first started filling out this puzzle, what I noticed is that I just wanted to deal with this one area first. And it's like when you want to deal with one area of your life, right? And so I was getting more and more frustrated. I just kept you know, trying to find the numbers in this one area. And the more I tried to find them, the tougher it was getting. Then I realized it's probably better if I try and deal with, you know, bring another area of my life as well, right? Let's try and find the numbers from, you know, here, because some of the numbers I was looking for here actually were there. And then I realized actually some of the numbers I'm looking for here are actually also there and so on. And in fact, everything was all connected. And so I use that for a metaphor in, metaphor in life that Oftentimes, you know, when we, we think the answer lies, you know, we're so focused on our, on our work and our business and everything else, we know we might be neglecting our relationship. Or we're so uh, focused on, uh, you know, uh, our work and everything else that we neglect our health. And so this is like a holistic approach. It's about balance. It's about recalibrating, refocusing on actually where you are, where it is you want to arrive and why is it you want to go there because that's so important oftentimes we can end up in places and think why didn't i why did i even do this you know so it's very really easy all you need is a journal or a piece of paper and a pen if you have a partner then do this exercise with a partner it's even more fulfilling even more amazing because you share the experience together so what i'd like you to do is first of all um, get in a great space, get in a great state, jump up and down, whatever you need to do, go for a run, go for a swim. So you're feeling really, really good and really happy. Now, you just have to trust me on this is that I've done this exercise so many times. If you follow the steps, I'll talk you through it as we go along. Um, it might not be so clear on this video, I just noticed that, but I'll talk you through it. It's about just getting the video done, right? And so without me getting technical or anything as, as well, I was wondering how can I get these, make these <laughs> more clearer with the light? So I'll just talk you through it. Um, so you're going to write, draw five squares and label them body and you can pause this video if you need to eat, sleep, play, hydrate, breathe, visualize. We're going to number these in a moment. If you just make the template first, heart, myself, family, others, mind, brushing your mind. Just write that in there. Flow. Love what you do. Do what you love. And then spirit, fuel your fire. Great. Pause the video if you need to. And now we're going to get started. So remember, there's three parts. The first part we're going to do now is know where I am. Second part, know where I'm going. And the third part, why. So with the first part, you're going to write, start writing a number next to each one of these different um, areas. So from a scale of one to 10, 10 being like outstanding, amazing, phenomenal, you just, you're the top of, your, top of the world, or one, you're not really, you know, it's like the opposite. So for example, eat, are you eating nutrient dense superfoods? You know, they're healthy, they're nutritious, they're, they're, they're really good for you. On the other end of the scale, are you eating things that are unhealthy, which would be like more of a completely unhealthy would be like a number one, fried foods, refined foods, processed foods, and so on. So don't overthink this exercise, just write a number, any number from a scale of one to 10. It's just kind of common sense, right? 
And then sleep, are you waking up energized, full of energy, enthusiastic, jumping out of bed? You know, it's another day, feels amazing. Or are you pressing the alarm, you know, five more, five more minutes of sleep? Are you waking in the middle of the night worrying? And so on. So write a number from the scale of one to 10. Play, you know, are you playing? So great way to demonstrate this is tag. So I've got Sonal over there. And what we're gonna do is gonna play tag, right? So, <laughs> so the first thing, come on. So the first thing we do, uh, it's not fair because I can stay here, but the first thing you win, the first thing you do when you play tag is just to start laughing. And you notice that all my focus is just about having some fun and you're just in the now. <laughs> so that's what happens when you, when you play, right? You laugh, it's fun. It's not like, you know, a, a workout at the gym, okay? And it's like a to-do list. It's more about, you know, having a pillow fight, throwing the pillow. It uses your arms when you, you, you you're, you're, you're playing team sports, whatever it is, but you're playing. Put a number of scale of one to 10, are you enjoying working out and being active? Hydrate, are you drinking enough water from a scale of one to 10? Breathe, are you consciously breathing? Like oftentimes just take a deep breath in. It's known to relax you, de-stress you, um, lower blood pressure. How often do you do that? Are you consciously doing breathing exercises? So uh, just write a number from a scale of one to 10. And the visualization is so powerful. We have this process, you know, every day we go out and um, we visualize and we, you know, say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All the things have already happened and visualize that already happening. All the studies show it's a very powerful way of attracting that into your life. Scale a number one, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so write a number for a scale of one to 10. And then heart, the most important relationship is a relationship with yourself. And so do you doubt yourself? Do you second guess yourself? Do you hold yourself back in making decisions because you think you might fail or you have uncertainty about you know, what you're doing in your life? And oftentimes, sometimes you do things in life because we want to please other people or we're not being ourselves. So are you comfortable in your own skin? That's what this conversation is about. And so write a number from a scale of one to 10. And then think about family. So you might write a few numbers here, you know, relationship with your intimate partner, from a scale of one to 10, or your children, or it could be your friends, or other people in your life. So just write a scale, a number, scale of one to 10, what's important for you. Mind, I'll ask you a question. How often do you brush your teeth? How often do you have a shower? Most people say, oh, once a day, twice a day. Would you decide not to brush your teeth or have a shower? Why not? And so people say, well, I'd never do that. Like you have a, you have a, you, I would never stop brushing, right? So, or, or stop having a shower. So they have a high standard for that. So how often do you brush your mind? And the same thing applies, right? Some will say, well, what does that even mean? So these are, this is about a daily practice. It could be you know, including reading, running, swimming, meditation, yoga, whatever it is for you. Maybe you do martial arts, whatever it is for you that gets you in a great space, makes you feel alive, really focuses you in um, into gratitude and magic and really pulls those, keeps those weeds away from your garden, right? Scale of number, one to 10, where are you? Another way of looking at it is, Look at your balance of your positive and negative emotions. So are you feeling anger, frustration, sadness, guilt, for example? Why are you feeling, you know, um, enthusiastic, joyful, happy more of the time? And if you are, the higher the number. And then flow. Flow is love what you do, do what you love. Are you going to work clock watching, can't wait to go home, or living just for your holidays, to pay for your holidays? Or are you passionate about what you do? It's like your dream job and what, no, dream job could also mean like you really enjoy what you're doing and you're so good at it naturally you're not thinking about it it's like you know work and play become one so you know in the past in my life I practiced as a pharmacist and you know I made lots of money some people call this area finances but really I didn't enjoy it and I don't practice that anymore but what I do now I love what I'm doing and there is no difference between you know work and play and I never understood that before. So write a number from a scale of 110. Einstein said, if you judge a fish by how well it can climb a tree, it's always gonna believe it's stupid. And maybe you're trying to climb a tree and maybe you need to be in water. So write a number down from a scale of 110, where are you? 
Now spirit, notice how spirit connects all the different areas. And you know, I have some daughters, I've watched this movie with them called Ballerina. It's a cartoon, it's about this girl and she's dancing on the rooftop, she's dancing on the tables. She loves dancing, she's, she, she's like doing ballet everywhere and she's got this skip in a step, right? And there comes a point halfway through the movie where she doesn't want to dance anymore. You know, she's looking down, she's unhappy and people are encouraging her to dance but she doesn't want to do it anymore. She lost her spirit. She's dragging her feet. And we've all been, had moments of that in our life. So when you're, we use the fire as a, as, a, as a metaphor. If your fire is strong, right? And problems come into your life in the form of a wet log. And when that wet log comes into your fire, you can use the wetness to, eva so evaporate the wetness and then use the log as fuel to, to, to fuel your fire. But if your fire is not so strong and someone, a problem comes along and someone throws a wet log in your fire, then it feels like your fire has been put out. So where are you right now in your life in terms of your spirit? Carl Jung also said, of all my patients over the age of 35, the ones who never took on a spiritual dimension never fully healed. And you notice how everything is connected. You know, when your spirit is strong, you have, the, you have a different type of energy. It's not nutritional energy. Something from inside that's pulling you through. And that's what we're talking about here. So, um, yeah, again, scale one to ten. Where does that lie in your, in your area right now? Pause this video if you need to. But congratulations, we've just con completed the first part. And so this is like, know where I am. You don't have to overthink it. You don't have to dwell on the past. This is where you are, that's it. Even in a GPS system, you need to know where you are first and then you can work out how you're gonna get there, right? So you know where you are. Next step is, in one year, we're gonna arrive. The question is, where? So in this process, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a new piece of paper or, or, or in your journal, new page, and start writing down with gratitude, with love, with joyfulness, with magic, with enthusiasm. Imagine you've already arrived. It's been one year, you've already arrived, and you're writing down what you're thankful for. Like, I'm so thankful for the past year, and I'm so thankful my sleep is massively improved, and I have so much energy now that I'm doing what I love to do, and I've been finishing my book or writing my book, or. Um, I've been working out more on my relationship, my kids is more, I'm playing with them, whatever it is for you that's, that's going to create a magnanimous year. I'm on holiday with the children on my dream holiday I've always dreamt of and I'm so thankful for that and that was created because of whatever it is for you. So if you write enthusiastically with gratitude like it's already done, it's already happened and use those words like, you know, thank you. Thank you is such a powerful word. And if you write that and keep keep your pen moving and think about all the different areas and you can put some music on pause this video if you need to and I'll just come back to you in a second once you've completed that so how does that feel how does that feel you know you've created the year ahead of you you've already arrived it's already done and oftentimes I always say that when you do this exercise sometimes it feels like problems appear and problems appear because the, the old you cannot solve your new future. So there has to be a part of you that you bring out. And what's going to pull you through is a why. Because sometimes, you know, problems can seem overwhelming. And if a chair comes in your way, you're just going to sit down. But if your why is strong enough, you, you'll be like, hey, I'm not sitting down. I'm going to go around the chair, under the chair, over the chair. And you'll find a way to arrive what you've actually dreamt of. You're dreaming beyond the dream. And so it's like whatever it takes. So in the next part, it's we're gonna go seven level deeps and really connect to your why. And every time we do this exercise, you know, every year, at least once a year we do this exercise, I would even encourage you to do it twice. The answers that we get on the seventh, the sixth and seventh are just amazing. Like you notice how, no matter how, you know, the first one's always kind of in your head. You know, like I might ask you, well, you've arrived, fantastic you've written all these amazing goals down but why have you arrived so I'd like you to write down why have you arrived and then you can pause the video if you like and I'm going to ask you six more times and I'm going to say thank you for sharing that with me or with your partner with yourself and remember the truth will set you free so why 
is that important you've written your first first one first why down it could be because I want to be somebody in life great why is that important for you and so now try and go a little bit deeper notice there's a deeper why I'll write that down again pause the video if you need to and then why is that important for you that's it and thank you for sharing those three whys but there's a deeper why take a deep breath in write down why is that important for you remember to breathe just the first thing that comes to you just kind of letting it go and just writing it down that's it trusting yourself that whatever's coming to you is just the right thing now we're going to go even more deeper and as you reflect on those the fourth why I'm going to ask you for the fifth time why is that important for you that's it take a deep breath in and just keep writing the moving that pen trusting yourself and now when you're ready you can pause remember when you if you're not I'd like you to close your eyes take a deep breath in and really connect with your heart even put your hand on your heart that's it and notice with your eyes closed take another deep breath in notice your heart beats for a purpose being grateful for your heart feel your heart hear it see it what's your deeper why you notice your heart has a rhythm and everyone's rhythm is unique to them has a beat has a sound and when you feel that and you see it and you hear it what's it saying what, how does it feel write down your deeper why that's it just grab your pen and just write it down remember to press pause if you need to and now when you're ready I'd like to close your eyes again take another deep breath in I'd like you to imagine with your eyes closed you're sitting or standing somewhere that you'd love to be right now and you notice how amazing you're feeling and you notice there's a point of light in the center of your heart that glows and within that light only you have access to it it's like a safe place which has a combination only you know because trust is the key to the heart and with that knowingness you reach in and there's a letter to you with your purpose on it it may be a feeling or a sound or you may be able to read it sometimes it's hard to put things into words but as you feel that light and you see that light and you notice that light you notice how bright it really is and everything you've been looking for outside of you you realize has been within you all this time always been there always has been always will be and that's your deepest deepest purpose and when you're ready take that pen and make a note what does it say how does it feel what is it saying to you if you did put in words what would you write that's it 
And sometimes these sounds, these distractions and everything else, but if we refocus back on our purpose, refocusing back, knowing we can fly high, and everything happens for a reason. And just make a note of our deeper why. That's it. And breathe that in. Notice how it feels. I'd like to congratulate you to finishing the third part. Now, schedule one thing, two things, three things, whatever it is, and create the momentum. Action speaks louder than words. That one thing you know that's going to get you started in that journey could be a one thing you've been putting off. So I'd like to thank you for joining us for this exercise. It's our gift from us to you and wishing you an amazing year ahead. You can do this exercise at least once a year. Beginning of the year is a great time to do this or like just December as you're starting the new year or even now, you know, wherever you are right now, you can do this anytime. All these seasons are kind of made up, you know, in a way because why does that have to be the start of the year? Sometimes people have the new year in different cultures at different times. So it's a new year every day. It's a new you every day. And what you do today will create your tomorrow and tomorrow today will be your yesterday. So being in the now is the most important thing. Take a day at a time. Wish you an amazing year ahead. And thank you for joining us for this video. Please share this video with your friends and family. We were doing these exercises, you know, together. Um, but then with, with friends on Skype, a few people at a time, we feel that it's a great, um, we had just had to step up and share it with as many people as we can and notice for yourself how powerful it is for you thank you so much you have an amazing day ahead amazing future ahead and uh, don't forget to play more tag <laughs>